Oklahoma City. An electric vehicle startup's new production facility in West Oklahoma City is now operational, producing one automobile per day. The first vehicles assembled at Canoe's manufacturing facility were on display Wednesday inside its 630,000 square foot plant as part of a batch in an agreement for up to 1,000 vehicles with the state of Oklahoma. The three lifestyle delivery vehicles, which will go to the Office of Management and Enterprise Services, were the first automobiles built in Oklahoma since 2006. Canoe chairman and CEO Tony Aquila said the vehicles, equipped with 12 airbags, are engineered with the intent to achieve a five-star safety rating. We have a very high standard, and we're trying to build a long multi-generational relationship with people, Aquila said during a tour Wednesday. Aquila touted the ergonomic design of the seats and the space between the driver and the door. He said industrial drivers often spend long drives in uncomfortable vehicles, but Canoe aims to change that with the design of its lifestyle delivery vehicle, which has SUV size interior space with a small exterior footprint, according to the company website. The glass for the vehicles is manufactured at two different suppliers, with one located in Latin America. Aquila said 96% of all the components come from allied nations or the US he intends to reach 100% domestic sourcing, but said that could take another 18 months. Canoe set a company goal of a 20,000 vehicle run rate by the end of 2023. Aquila clarified the difference between run rate and production. He said while the facility is capable of producing a certain number of vehicles, it will take time to build up production due to multiple factors, but some of the equipment is up to a 50,000 run rate. The reason you will run slower is you have to train the workforce and debug, because all these robotics are working in tandem, and that's why you focus on run rate, not volume. If you rush that, you will see what happens as you have a lot of recalls, Aquila said. These vehicles have been tested by Walmart and the US Army. We did not do the typical way of delivering, because we can't afford to take the risk of high recalls. In August 2022, Canoe announced an agreement with Walmart for 4,500 vehicles. Also last year, the U.S. Army awarded Canoe a contract to test its pickup truck. Currently, the facility assembles one vehicle each day, but Aquila said the company looks to ramp up production to four per day soon. The electric vehicle market has faced strong financial headwinds in the last year, and Canoe is no exception, though net losses have improved year over year. Canoe reported cash and cash equivalents of $8.3 million as of September 30th. After giving effect to the preferred stock and warrant subscription agreement for a total of $45 million, the company cash balance would have been $53.3 million on September 30. According to the report, Canoe had a generally accepted accounting principles net loss and comprehensive loss of $112 million and $273.6 million for the three and nine months ending in September. The company reported a GAAP net loss of nearly $118 million in Q3 2022. Aquila expressed optimism in an earnings conference call Tuesday, explaining that the company is in the manufacturing and revenue generation phase. Canoe stock has lost nearly 80% of its value in the last year, currently sitting at 27 cents. Aquila said startups have greater leakage, which is why Canoe doesn't overpour in capital. I've put a lot of my own money in, and we have a very specific method that I've used to build other companies," Aquila told the Journal Record on Wednesday. The company has raised $1.6 billion in capital. Aquila said when assessing the financial health of the company, it's important to look at how they've raised capital in small increments. From a capital perspective, we concentrate on the volume of a stock. If you look at it, our volume is pretty active even at a low price which is in my view one hell of a deal because it's trading below book value," Aquila said. But the markets are fickle now, and we want to prove it to them and I tell everybody don't look at the stock price, because you're not selling anyways. Aquila said the Oklahoma City facility will employ 120 people by the end of 2023. As it gets closer to its run rate, that will increase to approximately 700. Canoe recently purchased more land on the frontage road of Interstate 40, with plans to add buildings and bring more activity from other states into Oklahoma. In August, the company announced it signed agreements on incentives with the state for its vehicle assembly facility in Oklahoma City and a battery module manufacturing plant in Pryor with a combined value of up to $113 million for 10 years. The agreement has multiple benchmarks Canoe must meet to receive the funds. 
The battery plant and the assembly facility will bring more 1,300 jobs, according to a release. Aquila said the company has to perform to get payments from the agreement, but it's money they've already spent. We're fine with it, because we know we shouldn't get it if we don't prove it, Aquila said. Canoe's 103,000-square-foot battery facility in prior manufactures modules for Canoe's electric vehicles. The modules, containing Panasonic cells, are shipped to the manufacturing facility where the modules are assembled into battery packs for the vehicles. The company entered an agreement with Cherokee Nation earlier this year to staff the prior facility with citizens within their tribal reservation. According to a company statement Wednesday, Canoe already has hired some of their citizens with very competitive wages for the area.